Hey everybody, in this video I'm going to talk about installing and configuring my shader, just getting it working. I'm not going to go into the detail of all the different things that it's capable of. I'll, I'll save that for other videos. I'm going to just keep this one short and to the point. Uh, so let's begin. Install the shader by clicking Assets, Import Package, Custom Package, and I'm going to choose the latest version that I have. It's 4.0 that I'm working on. And hit Import. And wait a little bit. And it's installed. Now to start using the shader, I'm going to click on my avatar. I'm going to keep clicking until I get this list of materials here. And I'm where it says body material, I'm going to choose to change from the standard shader to Warren's Fast Fur. And then I'm going to click on Fast Fur. Now, if you didn't get that far, if when you clicked on this list here and you clicked on Warren's Fast Fur, there was nothing listed here, then what you're going to need to do is go down to the Project Assets, Fast Fur Shader, right click, and then say Re Import. It should now say Fast Fur. Now, if that still doesn't work, go onto my Discord server in the Help and Support section, and I'll try to help you there. Now, once the shader is installed, when you expand it, you should see this interface. However, if instead what you see is that interface, then what's happened is the shader's GUI has failed to load. Now, you have to have the GUI. You can't use it without it. It does some very important calculations. To fix that, right-click on the Fast Fur Shader folder and say Delete. And then reinstall the shader. Now, if that still doesn't work, then what I recommend is that you start with a fresh Unity project. Sometimes the Unity project can get corrupted. You just want the shader, the your avatar, and the VR Chat SDK. Keep it simple, and usually it will work. If it still doesn't work, go onto my Discord and ask for help there, and I'll see if I can help you. Now, this error message is telling you that the required data textures are missing. All you need to do to generate those is click this button here, and then click that button there. And you wait a little bit, and now if we zoom in, we see that we've got fur. Now, the shader will try to calibrate the length to match your avatar, but maybe it didn't work for you. Maybe what you got instead of uh, average size fur is you got something with gigantic, like a puffball like this. Or maybe your fur was really, really, really small. Well, the way you fix that is the buttons that I've just been clicking on. You go into this fur thickness and overall shape, you open that up, and you increase or decrease the calibration of the fur. Now at this point, the basic setup is finished. The shader's installed, it's working correctly. Uh, you can start playing around with some of the settings if you want. For example, you might want to change the hair to be chunky, or you might want to change the density to make it really, really fine. Uh, but the question that everybody always wants answered right away is, how do you get the fur out of your eyes and off your nose and all that? Now, with other fur shaders, you typically have to make a custom data file that tells the shader where not to put the fur. But I've made a fur grooming program that you can use. Now, this allows you to paint the fur onto your avatar wherever you want it and to trim it as needed. However, it's a really big topic, so I've separated that into its own separate video. Now, if, if you didn't make it this far, if you encountered some other error, uh, go on to the Discord for forums, let me know. Uh, it's really helpful for me to know what people are struggling with because I, I really want the shader to be as easy to use as possible. So I will see you in the next video. Bye.